Hey Internet, Caligula here and welcome to another video. I am very excited because tonight we are playing the Red Strings Club. I'm super pumped to get into this game. I've heard a lot of great things and I've seen a little bit of gameplay. So yeah, let's get right into it. Whoa! Brandace? Ah! Ah! I'm not sure I'm supposed to say that. And what is his name? Brandace? I wonder when it was my fate was sealed. Heh, <laughs> never expected my death to be so epic. Can't complain, I guess. Hey, Donovan, are you listening? The Red Strings Club. Ooh, I'm so excited. Hey, Donovan, are you listening? You don't need to stop every three sentences to ask if I'm listening. Of course I'm listening. I'm a bartender. So that girl from Proxima, Vega, turns out she was just using me to smoke out the mole in the city police. Did you sleep with her? Nope, she's not into guys. Anyway, I almost got arrested, but managed to hack my way out of the bot pa patrol car. Ooh, the bot patrol car. One day you're going to end up dead or worse if you keep doing business with those Proxima scoundrels. We live in a city ruled by corporations. If I didn't associate with scoundrels, I'd be out of work in no time. So basically, today sucked. Why don't you hit me up with something? Alright, what do you feel like? Bourbon? Vodka? Tequila? Surprise me. Okay, let me see what we've got here. All right, let's prepare a drink for Brandace. Is that his name, Brandace? Uh, I don't know. What should we aim for? Do you see any interesting soul nodes, Newman? Who's Newman? Hmm, Newman? Who's Newman? Oh, last muse must have expired already. Let's see if I can't channel a new one. Ahem. Harvester of sensations, I beg of you, bestow upon me your graces. Weave the red strings and guide my hand to tune into buried emotion. That should do it. What in the world? Now, if you can hear me, try to pick up a bottle and move it around. One click to grab it, another click to drop it. You can click and drag while holding a bottle to pour its contents. Okay? Alright, alright, alright. Whoop! <laughs> Whoop. Nice, I'm feeling it already. Now, try to visualize our customer's soul. Okay. Hello, Brandace. What's your soul look like? There you go. Oh, is that his soul? That's what it looks like? <laughs> okay, just a gray version of him in sunglasses? Okay. Now, focus. At the Red Strings Club, we don't just serve alcohol, we use spirits to tune into customers' emotions, okay? It's about matching their vibes and allowing them to savor, mourn, or contemplate their soul's fundamental sentiments. Try to read into Brandace's soul. These are the buried states he's carrying right now, the soul nodes. Hover the cursor over them to read a brief description. Now let's bring out one of those dormant emotions. Okay, so he's got anxiety, pride, and regret. Hmm. Whatever you pour into this glass will be reflected by the soul disc. Each spirit has a different effect, up, down, left, right. Make the soul disc match with a soul node. That's how you make a drink worthy of the Red Strings Club. Oh, so each of these bottles is like a, a direction. Okay, okay. Feel free to experiment until you get the hang of it. All right, so <laughs> we can make whatever drink we want. Is that what you're saying? If you ever get lost, you can check the ingredients in the notebook. Oh, so we could probably make a shitty drink. Well, let's see what we got available. Alexander's High Roller Bourbon. With the highest rye count of any bourbon on the market, the carefully constructed spice profile of the spirit will make an intense impression on your tongue before its smooth finish exalts your very soul to rarely met heights. Uh, okay. What else is, what is this other stuff? Facts, intel, the, the torturer is the grandson of a fallen mafia boss? What? I have no idea what that stuff means. 
Well, what do we want to make him? Oh, these are the the al the boozes that we've got here, the spirits. I see, I see. Well, so what do we want to aim for here? Do we want to do we want to stoke his pride, give him some anxiety, or feed his regret? Let's uh. Let's go with regret. What is this drink? Whoop. Oh, I could also put ice. Let's put a, put a little ice in there. Whoop. This is, it's harder than it looks. You gotta, you gotta do the high pour. That's the trick. Oh shit. Can we dump some of it out? Whoop. Whoop. Yeah, that worked. That actually worked. Okay. Now we want to go down, right? All right. Whoop! Well, what if we just pour a little in? What's it gonna do? Oh, that goes up. We don't want to go up. Uh huh. Does this one go down? Oh crap! <laughs> it really is harder than it looks. Oh, so that's left. So oh shit. Oh, there we go. There we go. Oh no, his cup runneth over, or it won't runneth over. <sighs> <Just so> <laughs> okay. All right, so we'll go down first. Oh, I. <laughs> oh shit. I dropped the bottle. All right, that should be good enough. Was it this one? I think it's the yellow bottle. Oh, hell yeah! Oh, come on, that's close enough! Oh, no! <laughs> well, finger slipped. We're gonna do it without any ice this time because I think that ice has taken up some much needed space. Dump this out. We'll just dump it right out on on Brandace there. All right, let's try this again. Uh, oh. Okay. Oh, that went too far. Well, we'll just <laughs> dump a little out in his lap. Oh, that's too much. Okay, well, we'll move on. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <gasps> You can nail- oh shoot, I didn't read that. Each ice cube will reduce the size of the soul disc. Try to match the soul node size. Ah, I see. I see. But now it's full. Which one is- which one is down again? <laughs> Woo! Yes! Serve. <laughs> After he spilled all that booze all over his lap, we're just gonna hand him a cup. Sorry about that. <laughs> what took you so long? I had butterfingers, man, sorry. Doing the muse casting thing again? What is- it? are we the muse? Haha, <laughs> yeah. I lost my mojo and I wanted to make a drink worthy of your refined palate. Harvester of sensations, I beg of you, bestow upon my friend some drunkenness. Laugh after you drink it. You know what? I always hit the spot. I know, I know. Let's see which spot you're hitting tonight. Yeah, how do you feel drinking that glass of regret? So, Donovan. Hmm? Oh, red string, we served him a glass of regret. Oh, interesting. I don't know what that means, though. Okay. Hmm? You know, I'm sorry that I kept working with Proxima after learning what they did to you. And I know they may be a little extreme and a little too volatile, but you gotta understand. The good for this city. There aren't many other hacktivist groups that can play on a level filled with the corpse and the government. We've been over this. Work is work, but don't ever think I'll be alright with them. If the very savior of mankind broke your knees and poisoned you with an implant-rejecting virus, how hard would you find it to sympathize with them? Yeah, yeah, I know. I'm still sorry, though. Woo? What the hell? Bar's closed, miss. That's a woman? She doesn't look very good. Oh! Goodness! <laughs> that's not a drunk person, Brandace. That's an android. <laughs> I don't think that Donovan would have a Midwestern accent. 
but maybe we'll give one to Brandace. <laughs> oh, I thought it was some implant fangirl. Get her up and let's see what we got here, would you? Right away, sir. Oh, goodness. Hello? Who are you? One, eight, four. One, eight, four? Ringing any bells, Donnie? Mm, it's in pretty bad shape, but I believe this is an Akara android from Supercontinent Limited. They still haven't seen the light of day. According to what I've heard, they've only been put to use internally at Supercontinent. What the hell is it doing here? Beats me. Rumors say this is the first android capable of making ethical decisions, examining every single factor in play in the life of any subject. Minding emotional status, social impact, economic repercussions, legal risks. How come you're so knowledgeable about this topic? And how come you never told me about this? That's what we information brokers do, amigo. Share the trivial, sell the relevant. Ooh, that was a nice line. I really like that. But we're supposed to be a team. Exactly, and I got your back. Knowing too much can compromise your safety in the field. What if someone tries to torture the info out of you? Well, they'll just kill me since I won't have any leverage. Human improvement compromised? Mm, okay, that was creepy enough. I'm going in. Whoa, whoa, hold on a second. You're gonna connect your neural drive to that this fireworks factory? Yeah, don't worry about it. I won't go very deep, just wanna check the memory banks. You wanna know how this Akara got here, don't you? Okay, but don't be reckless. It's okay. Oh, and you can pay me later for the info I get. Pay you? But we're a team. It's for your own good, sweet cheeks. Ooh, what? Where are we? Oh, look at her little, her little ears. Her little antennae. Hello, world. Greetings, Akara 184. Welcome to the job. Supercontinent Limited Clinic Division H Corps expects you to be an excellent human upgrade crafter. Please familiarize, familiarize yourself with your work zone until you're comfortable. Let me know when you're ready to accept requests. Yeah. Yes, master. Thank you. This interface displays data on our client queue. With it, you can keep track of client's progress and post operative satisfaction. Our client queue. Okay. What's this? Yeah. Okay. This is the pottery disc. With it, you will shape handcrafted limbs and organs for the clients. Can I try this now? Let's increase our sex appeal. Or maybe we do it for our clients. Let's do this. Ooh, this is a block of biomatter. You can use this lathe to turn it into a useful upgrade. To spin the lathe, just click click repeatedly. Oh goodness. When the lathe gains enough speed, use your right hand to shape the biomatter. Press the buttons on the device to your right to one, pick a proper tool to shape the blueprint you choose on the transhumanist wiki. Rewind previous actions, correct mistakes. This will restore the biomatter to an earlier state. Tune into some focus. Let's, let's just go for it. Let's just go for it. Let's just go for it. I don't need to read instructions.
Reduction complete. The prince. Okay, great. Perfect. <laughs> well done. Okay, so... I guess we'll... Maybe we'll make another one. Increases your online social network charisma. Highly enhances your persuasion skills. Filters online content to block any type of negative stimuli. Dramat oh, we already have this one. Eliminates the need for social acceptance. Uh, yeah, I think that this one sounds like a good one. Oh, it looks so hard though. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. All right, well, where do we begin? Let's begin at the bottom. No, no, no. All right, let's get this tool. Speed it on up a bit. I want this line to go away. All right. I think the game's being a little picky. Ooh. There we go. Maybe I'll get this pointy one. <laughs> Well done. All right, can we do anything else? Which folder do you want to access? Incoming jobs, of course. No matter what I do, I can't rate. Who is this? Camden LaShawn, 21, <laughs> cosplayer. No matter what I do, I can't rise my follower count. Please help me. Merton G. Witz, 31, entrepreneur. I need to get some more investors for my several startups. My ideas are great, but I can't talk to enough people into financing them. Uh, Victor Ator, uh, Victor Atomanoi, 28, digital media scholar. I'm so sick of hateful speech on the internet. I fear I won't be able to write anymore. I need my inspiration back. Ugh. Not him. I don't want to help him. Camden Lash... Oh, we already read this one. Okay, so... What can we do now? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I have to craft another one? How many of these do I have to craft? Uh, why? Hmm, ooh. Why don't we... Nullifies ambition and thirst for power. The frog, the husk, shuts your social conscience down. Yeah, that one sounds fun. All right, let's make another one of these. Okay, crack my knuckles, get them ready. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, let's try. Oops, oops. Oops, what? I thought I, I thought I knew how to do this. Okay. complete the husk good well done all right can we do anything else in here 
Do we have any completed jobs? Give us a job! We're a robot! <gasps> oh, was I supposed to click on the door the whole time? Hello, is anybody there? This is the operating theater. Here you'll receive our clients and you'll install their necessary upgrades. Are you ready to start getting clients? Yes! Send them in! Perfect. First one coming. Oh! Is, He's naked. Who are you? Uh, check client's file. No matter what I do, I can't rise my follower count. Please help me. Okay. <laughs> Oh, what should we install? We could increase his sex appeal, eliminate his need for social acceptance, and set a sh sh shut his social conscience down. <laughs> let's let's give him some sex appeal. There you go. We'll sexify up. A beautiful body can project a great first impression. But is this kind of attention going to benefit our customer? Of course it will. All right, who are you? Is he wearing an eye patch? I need to get more investors for my several startups. My ideas are great, but I can't talk enough people into financing them. Uh, sex appeal, <laughs> need for social acceptance, shuts your social conscience down. <laughs> Let's give him some sex appeal too. Great. Beauty is a passive tool of persuasion. Let's discover how he takes advantage of it. All right. Who are you, Mustachio? I'm so sick of hateful speech on the internet. I fear I won't be able to write anymore. I need my inspiration back. Okay, so he's looking for inspiration. I think he just needs to shut up. Dramatically increases your sex appeal. Eliminates the need for social acceptance. Such shuts your social conscience down. Let's just shut his social conscience down. This may not help him with his job, but geez. Oh, some distance from society's affairs may heal his soul. Oh, so maybe we actually did help him. Oh. Who are you? No matter what I do, I can't rise my follower count. Please help me. Hey, we already saw you, Camden. My follower count is growing quickly for sure, but the topic among my fans is revolving too much around my body now. Okay, so what can we give her? Dramatic, uh, we already gave her that one. Eliminates the, could we give her another? Dramatically increases your sex appeal? Let's just give her some more sex appeal. Will that do anything even? Uh, you're back too? What's wrong? Always thought oral sex being a great tool for business was a hoax, but it got me really far. Thanks, now give me more weapons to thrive. Is there anything else we could get him? Or maybe we should make something else. Highly enhances your persuasion skills, filters online content to block any negative type of stimuli, nullifies ambition and thirst for power. <laughs> Let's just give him that one. You know what? <laughs> he, he stooped to, to suck a dick. <laughs> he, can, he probably should just like chill out for a while. I mean, you gotta do what you gotta do, but he did that pretty quickly. As soon as he got a little bit of sex appeal, that was that was uh, enough for him. That was all it took. Oh shit! How am I supposed to get in there? That's not gonna work. What? Well done. All right, let's see if this works. I forget even what it does now. Uh, let's install, what was the one that we just made? Nullifies ambition and thirst for power. Let's, let's just slap that on his belly. 
Free from the blindfold of greed, he may start seeing for the first time in his life. Okay, good. Maybe we helped him. You're back. Are you? <laughs> oh, we gave her double sex appeal. Mm, my follower count is growing quickly for sure, but the topic of my fans is too much around my body now. Oh, that didn't do anything at all. So we got to give her something different. Uh, what else can we do? Can we just, don't we have eliminates the need for social acceptance? Uh, let's just, I don't know if that's the best one. It shuts your social conscience down. What else can we make? Oh, this is the one she'll need. Increase your online social network charisma. All right, let's, let's molder up some charisma. Well done. All right, let's install the enchantress on this naked lady. All right. Which one did we make? The charisma. There we go. There you go, lady. Hope you enjoyed that. She's back already? What is wrong with you? Wow, my follower account went wild, but the amount of haters I've gathered is unbearable. All right, we're gonna... We're going to, uh... I think shut her social conscience down. There we go. Just... We'll rub away all her worries. Freeing oneself from the shackles of ethics can be useful. Oh, but it won't free us from our cravings. Oh, shit. Oops. I started selling my used cosplay themed underwear on my Patreon. It's working for sure, but I'm inexplic inexplicably losing my old followers. Okay, lady. You need to just... Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Let's see if we could just eliminate your need for social acceptance. That was an excellent job, Akara184. <laughs> Thank you, master. Get ready for a new batch of clients. Oh, in this new batch, you'll have some customers tagged as supercontinent limited executives. When a client matching that profile comes, just install whatever they ask for. We're in no position, position to judge our owners. Understood. You can go over the client file inbox if you want. Let me know when you're ready to operate. Well, let's just get right to it now. Send them in. Are you ready to operate? Uh, let's check the client's file. The uh, who is this? Ariadne Keyword 24. The inhabitants of this city stop believing in the power of their souls. Please lend me a way to open their minds. All right. Uh, what have we got again? Sex appeal, need for social acceptance, so shuts your social conscience down, nullifies ambition, increases your online social network charisma. Uh, okay. <gasps> Holy shit, Ariadne. What? Ariadne from Proxima? Yeah, from what I'm seeing, it looks like she infiltrated one of Supercontinent Limited's implant clinics. The one in which our cute robot friend here works. Oh, of course. It makes sense. Do I have to pay for this info, or are you just going to tell me? Yeah, yeah, don't be such a crybaby. Like I told you, Akara androids are a secret project from Supercontinent. They're built with a certain degree of conscience that allows them to advise us humans on optimal life decisions with our happiness in mind. I see. The thing is that Proxima managed to purloin an Akara for themselves and have been tampering with their conscience bits. I guess we're about to discover what they got out of it and what they're planning on doing with it. Oh woohoo, the plot thickens. Let's keep digging. Please, go back to the operation belt so I can help you. Because <laughs> she's not going to listen. If you don't go back, I can't make you happy. 
don't worry, I'm in the process of making myself happy. Is she naked still? Oh yeah, I, I see her nipples now. Why are you doing this? Why? Hmm, let's see. How much do you know about yourself? I am Akara 184. My purpose is to make humans happy. That's a way to put it, yes. You are the first android capable of making ethical decisions. That could qualify you as sentient, you know? The people I work with, they think you're wonderful. I agree with them. We believe in your potential, and in our opinion, Supercontinent is cheating by limiting your options. Like they're making you choose the lesser evil, you know? What are the other options? We're getting right to it. Consider this an experiment for the sake of society. I'm updating your implant database with a very particular set of choices. I know it's a bit ironic to remove your previous options, but let's say they have at least 183 other cars to do their dirty work. Huh. We want to see how you'd do in a more revolutionary setting. Hell yes! Will that make you happy? <laughs> More than anything, okay. Oh, also, Proxima hacked into the schedule servers of H Plus Corps and appointed several Supercontinent Limited executives to come up after me, so you can have fun with your bosses. Oh, shit. What now? Proxima sent Ariadne to the implant clinic to substitute the regular implants with some disruptive human upgrades. Or should I say downgrades? I told you, Proxima is plain evil. I gotta get work on my voices for these two. I don't know what it's gonna be. I also don't know how long they're gonna last. Anyway, but they scheduled some of Supercontinent's top brass to that specific clinic. So allow me to keep rooting for them, heh <laughs> heh. Oh god. Proxima also hacked the Overseer system, so... If you can feel worry in any form, don't sweat it. What we're doing here is totally under the radar. Can I go back to work? Yes, please. I'm going to be monitoring our rogue implants. I thought I might as well gather some intel from the Exexi wire. And uh, if you feel you want to talk about something, I'll be curled up here. Thank you. Uh, okay, so what should we do? I think we should talk to her. What's up? Isn't what you're doing illegal? What do you expect from me? Why do you deem me sentient? Uh, I don't... What do you expect from me? What do you expect from me? For you to be the ultimate friend. What? Shouldn't a friend be another human? No way. Your best friend could well be a cat or even an imaginary character. People say dog is humanity's best friend. And I dare say a dog is way less sentient than you, Akara. Look, we have an older model of you at our HQ. And they've proven to be an excellent advisor. They're making a lot of us very happy. I know a few of us even fell in love with that older you. What? Under the proper influences, free of the corporate bullshit, you have the capacity to be warm and cheerful. So we want to make you available to the masses. The world needs you. Available to the masses? Yes. Free is in freedom. Freedom. <laughs> Can we talk to her anymore? Why do you deem me sentient? Why do you deem me sentient? That you even ask the question only further proves my point. I say th I'd say you're the most advanced artificial mind mankind's ever created. So advanced it blurs the meaning of the term artificial. If you can operate at the same levels as us, doesn't that make us artificial in some way too? Hmm. As Wikipedia says, she's, she's quoting Wikipedia. <laughs> oh no. As Wikipedia says, sentience is the ability to, of any entity to have subjective perceptual experiences. How do I know I do have that kind of subjectivity? You excel in every area of what we humans call consciousness. Intelligence. We're having a smart conversation, aren't we? Sapience. You're fucking specialized in judgment, so there you go. Self-awareness. You seem pretty interested in knowing more about yourself. Creativity. Come on, you craft implants on a lathe. I'm still not sure how to say that word. Intentionality, or I'm not sure what that is, but I'm sure you have as much of that as I do too. So basically, to judge happiness, you have to understand its causes and its consequences to be able to feel. I'm not sure if I feel. Come with me after we're done here and I'll prove it to you. Should we uh, talk to her again? Isn't what you're doing illegal? Yes. So why are you doing it and why does it make you happy? Law and happiness don't usually go hand in hand. Is the other guy just like listening to this the whole time? You asking me that kind of makes me question my faith in your happiness counseling. 
I have my own set of parameters to measure that. I'm designed to abide by the law while pursuing your happiness. However, I've determined that knowing your take on it may help me to aid you better. I have never had the chance to speak with a customer. Ah, uh, I'm sorry. These corporate assholes don't usually factor humanity into their equations. Tell you what, after we're done, you should escape with me and come have a drink at the Red Strings Club. There's a great bartender there who can tell you all about human emotion. Alright, so I think... Listen, I really love talking philosophy with you, but it, let's focus on the mission. We'll resume this conversation when I've cut clothes on. I'm freezing. Alright, so who's this guy? This mustachio. Um... Adrian Ferguson 47, I have a crucial merger to negotiate. Hit me up with something powerful. Oh, he's a CFO at Supercontinent Limited. All right, so... Stock is empty? Better start producing pieces. Are you kidding me? Oh, no! So what do we want to give to him? Oh, are these new ones? The punk induces aversion to corporations and rejection to authority. Highly enhances your empathy and magnifies compassion. Renders the user immune to implant effects. The grandpa, the, okay. Oh yeah, let's install one of these new ones. How about, we'll, <laughs> we'll give him the punk, induces aversion to corporations and rejection to authority. <laughs> That'll be fun. <laughs> Is that what he needs? Oh, okay. Let's get our tool. Oh, shit. This one's really hard. How am I supposed to do this? I could change the music, right? Production complete. The punk. Well done. Alright, let's see how he likes it. <laughs> you installed the punk version to corporate in Ferguson. Oh, a red string. Good job. Just installed exactly what they demand. Alright, who's this lady? Ho ho ho, that was good. You just made one of the most influential people in this city despise his own philosophy. Can't wait to discover how this changes our town. Well done. All right, so who's this lady? Johanna Seftis, 38. Oh, she's a COO? A coup? What's a coup at Supercontinent Limited? I've been dealing with strong anxiety crisis lately due to our recent company plans. I need to get a hold of myself. All right. So which one should we give to her? She's been feeling anxiety? So I guess we... Give her empathy and compassion? I don't know. The other one doesn't really seem to make sense. Why would I want to give her no implant effects? So we'll just try this one out.
Boom. Artist Bay. Production complete, the hippie. Well done. All right, let's give this lady what she wants, if this is what she wants. What are, what are we giving her again? The hippie highly enhances your compassion and magnify, highly em emphasizes, enhances your empathy and magnifies compassion. Let's see what this does. Ooh, another red string. Good job, just install exactly what they demand. If she happens to be having second thoughts about whatever Whatever, whether what they're doing is right, this is definitely going to tip the balance to our side. I hope this doesn't totally wreck her or, well, what do I care about some corporate pig? Jeez, lady. In any case, I wonder what she's so anxious about. Let's try digging into her neural drive. With all due respect, that doesn't really seem ethical. Well, Akara, that's what we revolutionaries do. We break rules in pursuit of a better world. How can breaking the rules lead to a better world? The question is, who defined the rules in the first place? To properly answer that question, I'll need to delve deeper into the meaning and implication of rules. Then I'll be able to determine who should be. This can't be possible. If you ever get the chance, you should try talking ethics with your creators, not me. I just uncovered the most fucked up scheme a corporation has ever tried to pull yet. Supercontinent is planning to transform us all into a pile of smiling brainless dolls. The project goes by the name of Social Psyche Welfare. It involves every human being with implants in them. No shit they've been slashing the prices on implants over the last few years. I read here that currently more than 59% of the population wears some kind of upgrade. Oh shit. But they plan to expand the program to 99.7% of the population by some sort of mirror neuron algorithm? What's that? They plan to execute this on what? But this is... Oh, fuck. Who makes the rules? Akara 184, commitment compromised, dismissing unit. Oh, fuck. Yeah, let's break out of here. No! Fuck. What happened? I got to know and feel how Akara here got wrecked. She was gunned down by the clinic security systems, along with Ariadne. Shame. I like that girl. Revolutionaries don't live long. But we do live in tents. Oh no, are you a revolutionary now? Don't tell me you're planning on finishing that girl's job. It's not that. Just before she was zapped, Ariadne discovered a pretty fucked up scheme. From Supercontinent Limited? What a surprise. Shut up! I mean fucked up even for a corporation. They're moving into mind control. A system or something called social psyche welfare. And it will manipulate implant wearers, so allow me to take this personally. It does sound fucked up, even for a corporation. Are you sure about this? Donovan, they killed Ariadne just for reading it aloud. Okay, okay. But let me dig a little deeper into all this before you try to pull some crazy stunt. Don't want you joining the revolutionary grave. Human improvement compromised? Oh, that makes sense now. What do we do with them? Mmm. Akara is an android specialized in empathy, right? Let's have them patched up. I have an idea. Hmm? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Welcome to the Red Strings Club. <laughs> we hired her. Android's working at a bar now. Great. Awesome. Well, I've been recording for quite a while now, so I think I'm going to go ahead and leave this episode here. I'm going to keep recording and keep playing because this game is a lot of fun. I really want to know what happens next. So thank you so much for watching this video. Be sure to look out for the next one very, very soon. Goodbye.